Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure Code Runner, which is just an extension in Visual Studio Code to be able to run different programming languages, in this particular one, Python, and what kind of common errors you're going to see, and actually how to use it with Python virtual environments, and how to make sure everything is configured to run your code correctly and smoothly, and then also how to get out of it and, and kind of why it's important. Um, so let's get started. Um, so you see here, I'm in Visual Studio Code, uh, and I just have a test.py folder here, just a, a, a simple test.py Python file. Um, it says pandas, importing this package in Python called pandas, and a simple uh, script here. So what we want to do is create a virtual environment and try to configure with Code Runner. Now, uh, one quick point, you know, one question is why would you want to create a virtual environment? Like, what's the benefits of it? And you know, what the main benefits of you know, the main benefits of creating a virtual environment in Python are two things. Um, you know, right now, if you see, we're in our kind of global interpreter here, um, our Python path here, this 3.10 version of Python. And if I go into pip list, you'll see that we have a couple of packages installed already, like pandas, numpy, right? Now, typically for any new Python project, you want to create a virtual environment. The reason you want to do that is, let's say you create a, you know, a project and you don't use pandas or numpy you use different packages let's say but you don't use these at all when you actually want to ship your code to other developers to use or to like an open source project let's say um, if you you know use this a pip freeze command which kind of grabs all of your packages you use for the project if you use your global environment it may accidentally grab the remaining of these packages like that you aren't using in your regular environment um, in your project which could be an issue it could confuse developers it could be an issue down the road. Um, so you really want to isolate your environments. That's what virtual environments allow you to do. So we can install packages, only the ones that we want to use for that particular project. So when we ship it, it's very clear and easy about what exact packages need to be installed for our code to work. Um, another thing with virtual environments is, another benefit is that if you see here, we have this pandas package and we're using the 1.4.3 version. Let's say we're using an older version, 1.4.2 or even a newer version uh, at some point. And, you know, if we're going to use like an older version, let's say, we'd have to uninstall it in our global environment here, install the older version, and then use it, and then what, uninstall again, or have conflicting versions, which you don't want to do. So with virtual environments, you can create, you know, install any packages and any versions that you want, and it's completely isolated from your actual regular Python kind of interpreter, which is really important. So enough of uh, virtual environments, that being said, um, Let's go right into it. So to create a virtual environment, we're just going to type in this uh, Python, and I'm going to send this uh, PowerShell in, uh, terminal here. If you need to get to that, just hit this down arrow here and hit the left click on this PowerShell here. Um, we're typing in this slash M, V E N V. And what this, slash, this the hyphen M means is just as a flag for uh, short for module. Um, and then we're using the V E N V, the virtual environment module in Python. And then we can create whatever virtual environment name we want to. So let's call it test VNV, VNV1. And again, you can name any this whatever you want to, like rando version or rando virtual environment, whatever you want to. And when we run this, a couple things are going to happen. We're going to get this pop-up saying, do you want to add this to our workspace? And we want to do that. So we want to select yes. And if you see now, our interpreter moved to this virtual environment one, right? Our PyLance now is checking and seeing, hey, Pandas isn't installed in our virtual environment because we don't have any packages installed yet. So that's why you have this squiggly line under pandas. Um, and now if you see though, we're still in our regular environment. We're not in our virtual environment yet. So if we go to pip list here, you'll see that we still have pandas and numpy installed. So we're not in our virtual environment yet. But if you also see here in our files here, there actually was a new folder created, this test venv1. That was the name of our virtual environment. So if you actually go into this folder, you'll see a couple of things. The first thing we want to look at is this scripts. This is how you actually activate your virtual environment and deactivate it. So to activate it, what we want to do is in PowerShell, you can do this dot slash test one, test venv one slash scripts slash activate dot ps1. And what this is, is what this dot is, this is saying in our current directory. So right now we're in this test py folder. In this current directory, go into the test venv1 folder. And again, if you had a different name, just use that name. 
um, slash scripts to go into the scripts folder and then activate .ps1 to activate this file. And then once we actually run this and hit enter, you see this turns in green and now it activates our virtual environment. So now if we do pip list, you'll see that um, pandas and numpy is not installed there. That it's not installed here. You can also see in this lib, that's just short for libraries, we'll see that we only have pip and setup tools and pandas and numpy are not installed here, right? So uh, if you see here, we try to run our Python file. We try to run this in the terminal, we get this pandas is not found, which is what we want, right? We have this set up, this squiggly line in our virtual environment, we have our terminal set up, but if you're using Code Runner, which again is just an extension to allow you to run different programming languages and code, if you right click here, we run our Code Runner, if you see, it'll actually work and give us this hello. So why is that happening? Well, it's because Code Runner is still set up to use our global interpreter, right? It's still set up to use this global one here, not our virtual environment. So to fix this, what you can do is, if you see here in this scripts, uh, you see this python.exe file, right? That's actually our file that actually is going to execute our Python code once we kind of submit it, right? So to fix this, what you want to do is actually want to right-click and copy this path, and then click on your extension here, and then type in code and find Code Runner. You can either click this little gear here or just left-click and then click here, go to extension settings, then we can go to our executor map. And now what this is going to do is, if you see here, this Python is set up to our global interpreter. That's what this Python means here. So to fix this, we actually just take this and then paste in that path we just copied. And now if you see there's like a, a regular squiggly line, that just means that Coder doesn't like backslashes. So you actually have to escape those. To escape those, you just type in another backslash. So any backslash you see, just, back, just escape it here. Now you can create a quick function if you want to, to do this for you. Um, but in the, you know, just for time's sake here, I'm just showing you here in this environment. Now, once we did that, you'll see that, uh, make sure that all the backslashes are double backslashed here. Now that this is all set up, now we can go back in our environment. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pip install pandas. And while that's going, if I run Code Runner right now, you'll see that no module named pandas. So it's using our virtual environment uh, interpreter, which is perfect. And now we're actually installing pandas now I'll show you what that looks like after. Um, a couple other things while this is kind of um, downloading here is this configuration file. So if you click on this, what this means is when you create a virtual environment in Python, it's going to use whatever the version is that you had that you ran that script on. So what I mean by that is we had our version, you know, um, 3.1.0, if you saw in the bottom right there in the beginning. And so it's actually going to create the virtual environment based on that Python. 3.10 version. Um, then this include site packages just means that if I wanted to add all of my global packages, let's say in the beginning I wanted to add Python, you know, like pandas and numpy and any global packages on my regular global interpreter to this virtual environment, you can actually just turn this to true and allow you to use any of your global packages um, in your virtual environment. We didn't want to do that, so we just kept that to false. Um, so now if you see pandas is installed here. So if we do pip list, you'll see now that pandas and numpy are installed here. So now, if you run our python test.py file, it'll run it and give us the hello. It's listed here. And now if you see that squiggly line is no longer under this pandas because now we installed it on our virtual environment, which you can see here. And now if you run code runner, it's now using our virtual environment still so now it's going to give us that hello, so everything is set up correctly. Now, if you wanted to get out of this, right, you were done with your product or your virtual environment, you want to get out of this, simply type in deactivate, and it gets you out of there here. Then click on this bottom right here, click it back to your global environment, and then in Code Runner, go back to the settings, just delete this, just type in Python, and now you're back into your normal environment, right? We're back to our normal kind of uh, global interpreter um, for there. Um, that's kind of how that works there. Uh, now, another important thing that you'll probably see, there's actually a really common area you also see with Code Runner that I want to show you, and that's with this. 
And if you see here, I have the same setup here, but I have a folder called testpy with space. And if you see here, there's a space in this folder path. This is really important. So what I'm gonna do is create a new terminal here. I'm gonna create another virtual environment. And this time I'll show you how to do it with the command line. So if you don't wanna use PowerShell, you can actually go to the command line here. Go to the command prompt in Windows here. Okay, and what we're gonna do is the same thing. Python slash M, um, VENV for the virtual environment, and then we'll just call this uh, VENV2, let's just say. Okay, and then it's gonna create that virtual environment. It'll ask us if you wanna add it to our workspace folder. We wanna say yes, then added it here to the VNV2. And again, that squiggly line's there because Pandas is not installed now uh, on our virtual environment. If you see here, we're still in our regular environment, right? If I do pip list, you'll see that it's still pandas is still here, right? So again, to get to our regular environment, what you want to do is go into that folder that was just created again. And now we, what we want to do is you want to type in this slash, this backslash, venv2, because that's the name of our virtual environment again. v2 slash scripts slash activate dot bat. Okay? And sometimes you'll get this. So sometimes you just want to run another command line here. Okay, and if you see here now, we're actually in our virtual environment. Um, and so if we do pip list, you'll see that pandas isn't installed there, and then we're in our correct virtual environment. Um, so we're set up here and here, but again, if you run code runner here, you're gonna see that it's gonna give us that hello because it's using our global interpreter again. So again, if you did this again though, you're gonna get an error this time, and I'll show you why. So if we go to copy path, Python extension, go back to our extensions, go to our settings, extension settings, executor map, into Python here. And now if we did the same thing that we did, where we actually use the backslash here, just like we did, okay, it looks like everything is okay. But when you go to run this, and you run this, you're actually going to get this weird error that says that this is not recognized as an internal external command. Uh, what is going on here? What's actually happening is it's because we have a space in our path. You see here we have a white space in our path. So if we go back to Code Runner, whenever you have a space in your folder path at any point to get to your Python executor file, um, that's going to be an issue. So to fix this, what you can do is actually type in Go to the first, you know, double quote here, type in another double quote, then inside of it, type in this backslash. This is telling Code Runner we're actually going to have a space in our path and to make sure that it, it's okay with that. And then at the end here, after this E, type in another quote, then go back and type in this other backslash here. So again, you want to have this backslash here and then here. And now what you'll see is you want to see when we run this, instead of this error, we should see that pandas is not installed because it's using our correct virtual environment, which is great. That's exactly what we want. So now what we can do is pip install pandas. We're going to install pandas now in this virtual environment. This is with the command prompt now. Um, again, a virtual environment set up here. Um, and again, you'll see in this library, there's no pandas. Or now there's NumPy. Um, and now it's going to install pandas um, after it finishes installing here. See, now Pandas showed up because now it installed it on the packages here. Um, so you can see that. Um, and then again, um, what we'll do is once this finishes, um, I'll show you how to exit again and kind of try to get set up. So again, now we're here, pip list. We have Pandas now, that's great. If we run our file from the command prompt here, same thing, we should get this hello. That squiggly line is gone because we installed pandas, right? That's set up here. Um, now if we run Code Runner, remember we had this no module named pandas before. Now it works fine because we're in our virtual environment. That's great. And it shows here what our path is there. And then the, fold, the file path that we're actually executing here is this. Um, and then, yeah, uh, to exit, deactivate again, go back here our global environment and then in code runner just get out of this 
type in Python again, and then you're right back with your regular environment. And when you run that, um, you'll see the hello. So yeah, that's how you can configure Code Runner and the virtual environments to make sure everything is set up and everything runs smoothly, however you run your code uh, in Visual Studio Code. Uh, hope this helps. Um, thanks for watching.